so it's the last day of school already. Wow, time works differently here in Granada, really. The hours fly by, a day only has 10 hours or something. Wow. Last night I didn't get a lot of sleep. There's so much going on, so many impressions. Wow, awesome. I think I'll have a headache for three or four weeks after this trip. But yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> So this is it, last day of school, and this is the big day with Alexis Botella singing for us and we have to accompany his canainas. This is what it should sound like. <laughs> Considering we had so many lessons and extra lessons and sightseeing and tablaos and trying to get some food and cooking and going for restaurants, the only reasonable way to get this done right is through the power of analysis. You know, I like to analyze stuff, so I wrote down the changes and although being toque libre, I was able to find a common structure for traditional granainas and that helped a lot. Here's what I was able to pull off thanks to analyzing this beforehand. <laughs> So that was the last session for the accompaniment class and in the middle you can see Munir, a fellow guitar student who translated all the Spanish stuff in accompaniment for us. Thank you very much Munir, you're a great guy. Next up was the last guitar master class where we finished working on Jose's Granainas. <laughs> At the end of the class we had to play through the complete Granainas and had one chance and that worked out surprisingly well. And I enjoyed this one so much that I play it almost every day now. <laughs> and after the class, after saying goodbye to Jose, I left the class a bit later just to have him stop me and tell me, hey man, you're a good guitar player, keep practicing, keep playing. That was really nice from him to say. I was very, very happy. I was so motivated that in the Palmas class, right after the guitar master class, I said, hey, we're doing Faruka now. I can play Faruka. I took my guitar and jammed along with the Palmas class. It was immensely fun. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah. Um, will we? She said, but after they what? She said it's really difficult, but he knows it very well. Nice, yeah. nice. So I just had my last lessons at Carmen de las Cuevas. Cuevas, the caves. Yep, this is cool. In caves, it's so nice. Hey, you have seen it. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm always tired. You cannot really catch a lot of sleep here. It's a very busy, very, very busy city. Um, very, very charming city. Beautiful. I mean, I didn't plan to make the video on this spot, spot here, but see this. I don't see it because there is a wall, but I'm pretty sure that's a beautiful view. City, the Alhambra, or maybe just a bunch of trees, whatever. Awesome experience. Awesome, awesome, awesome experience. I wish I would stay here a lot longer. Because just now I'm starting to grasp some things you're telling. And it really starts to feel, feel more right. There's things you prepare at home, you sit at home or maybe with the teacher and stuff doesn't always make sense. But if you live it, if you breathe it, it starts to make sense. I start to feel things, start to enjoy Kante, start to be able to play along with Kante. That's not easy. Wow, what a great experience. And you don't have to be afraid language barrier. My English is almost terrible and they hardly speak any German and I don't speak Spanish but they are very friendly, very welcoming and you don't have to be afraid of language barriers or being a foreigner in a country you have never been before. Yeah, do it. Get here. No, <laughs> no, plan it, plan it wisely. See you in the next video.